Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see second PUC computer science 5 mark questions. I have listed out all the questions from 27th question to 37th question according to the chapter wise. So we are going to see the question papers of 2015 to 2020. So I have listed out all the questions from the question number 27 that is part D. Part D question starts from 27th to 37th. Totally 10 questions you have. Out of 10 questions you need to answer 7 questions. So it's your choice which chapter questions you are going to attend. So I am going to tell in detail how to answer these 5 mark questions and all the 7 questions. So now let us see the first question. The first question is from Boolean Algebra. That is nothing but your K-map problem. The question is 27. The question number is 27. So this is what I have written here. In Boolean Algebra, you get one K-map question. It might be sum of or sum of or product of. So here you can see different questions listed out. So the first question is 2019 question. Then you have 2019 supplementary. So in KMAP you don't get repeated questions. I have seen all the 5 years question paper, totally 10 question papers. That is your annual exam as well as supplementary exam I have listed out here. Here you can see 2019 and 2019 yes yes is nothing but supplementary paper so not even one question is repeated in this particular chapter so you need to be prepared for this kmap problem so these are the different questions here you can see different numbers only the number is changing here so almost all the year you have sum of only here sigma that is sum of so this is the 2018 supplementary question. This is 2018 annual paper. Then you have 2017 supplementary paper. Then you have 2017 annual paper. And totally you have so many questions here. Till 2020 you can note down this and work out all the questions. Once when you practice all these questions you are ready to answer whichever the question that is given in KMAP. So this is about the Boolean Algebra. The next is data structure. In data structure, you have two questions. So that is 28th question and 29th question. You are going to get two questions. Out of that, one question is algorithm. So no doubt you have to write algorithm for the given question. So here you have in 2019 they have asked algorithm for delete next you have algorithm to insert next you have write an algorithm to delete delete an element in an array and you have to read the whole question here you can see write an algorithm to delete an element from a queue this is queue queue data structure and here you can see write an algorithm to delete an element from an array so array is different and q is different all are data structure but different type of data structure those are so see which question it is then you have write an algorithm to search an element using binary search technique so you need to write an algorithm to search an element for binary search that is asked in 2018 next you have what are the different operation performed on q that is that is asked in 2017 supplementary. Next they have asked write an algorithm to insert an element into an array. So here they have asked delete operation in 2018 and here they have asked insert operation in 2017. So see these things. So prepare for each and every algorithm if you are picking this particular data structure chapter. If you are not studying this particular data structure then two questions are gone 
out of 10. So totally 8 will be remaining and you have to prepare all these 8 questions. If you are not ready to answer this data structure question, so in this data structure question you have 2 questions. Out of these 2 questions, if any one question by chance if you get it you can answer it or else if you don't study at all then out of 10 questions you have 8 questions remaining and you need to prepare for all the 8 questions. So that if any one question is wrong totally you need to answer 7. So if any one question is wrong it's okay other 7 are right. So let us see the next one. So this is your 28th question. In 28th question they have asked what is primitive data structure and explain the different operations performed on primitive data type. So here some spelling mistake while typing. In 2019 they have asked. Next explain the different operation performed on stack data structure that is asked in 2019 supplementary. Next you have defined Q and explain different types of Q with a neat diagram they have asked in 2018 supplementary paper. So you need to explain first define it next mention the different types of Q with a diagram explain the concept. So next you have give the application of Q. So here they have asked in 2018. Next question is what is sorting write an algorithm for insertion sort that is asked in 2017 supplementary. Next what is stack write an algorithm for push as well as pop operation in 2017 they have asked. So if you have not subscribed my channel yet please don't forget to subscribe my channel. For the more information click on the bell icon. Next you have write an algorithm to search an element in an array using linear search method. So here they have asked linear search. So in this linear search you need to write the algorithm. In 2016 supplementary paper they have asked next write an algorithm to insert an element into a queue. So in 2016 they have asked this question then write an algorithm for deleting an data element from a queue they have asked in 2015. Next they have asked binary search algorithm in 2015 supplementary then explain different operations on linked list in 2020 they have asked. The next question is write a sorry what is linear data structure explain the operation performed on linear data structure even here you can see somewhere we saw in this previous topic. So the, these are different operations like operation performed on linear search, binary search all these questions are repeated. So make sure you are studying all the different questions. Next you have write an algorithm for insertion sort method. So you need to write for this particular insertion sort method. Next explain the memory representation of a stack data structure using an array in 15th supplementary they have asked. Next explain any 5 basic operation performed on an array in 2015 they have asked. Next write an algorithm to search an element in an array using linear search method. So here is the linear search method I was searching in the other slides but it is in this slide only. So here you can see linear search method the question is repeated. Here you can see they have told you operation performed on linear data structure and here they have asked algorithm for linear data structure. So in each and every data structure if you take you need to study what is that particular data structure, operation performed on that particular data structure and algorithm on that particular data structure. If it is a linked list or linear search or binary search or any other questions whatever we have. So make sure you study all the topics. Next one is object oriented programming that is your 30th question. In this you have only 6 question here 
and most of the questions are repeated. If you study these five questions, then you, you will get easily you will get five marks in this particular question. So here you can see mention any five advantages of object oriented programming that is oops over procedural programming language. In 2019 they have asked this particular question. So advantage if they ask you see here they have not directly asked you advantage of object oriented programming. They have added this particular sentence here over procedural programming language. So just to confuse you they have asked you. So here directly you can write five advantages of object oriented programming. Next mention any five application area of object oriented programming in 2019 supplementary and 2017 Here in 2019 supplementary and 2017 as well as 2015 supplementary they have asked this particular questions. The next one is explain the characteristics object oriented programming that is asked in 2018. Next explain the advantages of object oriented programming in 2018 supplementary, 2016 supplementary, 2015 as well as in 2019. This question as well as this question is same. So only the differences they have asked in a different way. So just to mention that particular thing I have listed two times. Next give the difference between procedural programming language and object oriented programming. So that is what here is they have asked in 2017 as well as 2020, 2017 supplementary and 2020 they have asked this difference. Next one is define object oriented programming, write the limitations of object oriented programming in 2016 they have asked. So here the basic concept is you need to know what is object oriented programming, advantage, disadvantage, characteristics, difference between procedural and object oriented programming. That is all about this particular question that is your 30th question and it is very easy to answer. Only you have 5 questions to learn in this particular chapter. If you learn that it is easy to write this question as well as to score 5 marks in this question. So next one is classes and object. The classes and object is 31st question in your question paper. So I am mentioning which question it is. So from the question number 27, the pattern does not change. 27th question will be your Boolean algebra. That is your K-map. 28th and 29th will be your algorithm as well as data structure related question. 30th question will be your object oriented programming. 31st question will be your classes and object so that pattern does not change at all and here you can see explain member function outside the class definition give an example they have asked. So in 2019 they have told. So here you need to write the syntax give an example and explain this particular concept. Here nothing but you need to explain the scope resolution operator you need to write the syntax then explain with an example. Next you have second question is what are the member function in the class? Write any four characteristics of member functions. In 2019 supplementary they have asked. So what are the member function inside the class you, you are going to explain and you are going to explain the four characteristics of member functions. Next they have asked explain the member function inside the class definition with syntax as well as program example they have asked in 2018 supplementary and 2016 they have asked. So here you can see in 2019 they have asked outside the class in 2000 in 2018 supplementary as well as 2016 they have asked inside the class explain with the syntax and program they have asked. Next what is the significance of using access specifier? Explain any two access specifier with an example 
in 2018 and 2015 supplementary they have asked so you need to write what is access specifier then you need to explain any two access specifier with an example that is nothing but your public private as well as protected you have different access specifier in your classes and object chapter there they have told you any two you need to explain next is write the general syntax of defining and declaring the class and object and explain the terms they have told with an example in 2017 supplementary 2017 2016 2015 as well as 2020 so this is nothing but general syntax of declaring a class how to declare a class so first you are going to write syntax of a class then with an example you are going to explain each and every term explain the term give an example they have asked so both classes and object you are going to write the syntax then you are going to give an example for that and you are going to explain the particular terms so in all the five years they have asked this particular question so make sure you are going to study this question so here you have five question here all the five questions in this chapter is only class syntax example declaring inside the class declaring outside the class access specifier only these questions have been repeated so make sure you are going to study these five or six questions whatever you have and prepare for this so this is the part one I have explained this so the next remaining from 32 to 37 I am going to explain in my next video so please if you like this video please hit a like share it with your friends if you have any doubts please comment I will reply it and please don't forget to sub subscribe my channel thank you